And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, partly cloudy and hot. That's the story today, that heat and humidity. We saw temperatures warm up into the low 90s. 92 was your high temperature in Lafayette. Now, back down to around 87. Still seeing a heat index up around 96 in Lafayette, but the rest of the region seeing even hotter conditions than that. 89 right now in Logansport, 91 your current temperature in Rochester. But look at these heat indices, especially across the far southern portion of the region. Covington, Crawfordsville, and Thorntown all above or at 110 degrees with that heat index. So nearly unbearable conditions out there. The good news is there is relief on the way. Unfortunately, we still have to wait for it for another 24, 36 hours ahead. Dry conditions across the region this afternoon. You can see more of the shower and thunderstorm activity that was making its way towards us, breaking apart with more scattered rainfall behind it. But we will be staying dry throughout the overnight hours and into early tomorrow morning. We do have a round of low pressure still off to the west of us that will continue to drive rainfall further towards the east. The good news is that low will eventually swing to our northeast, bringing chances of not only scattered rainfall, but also those cooler temperatures in the region. The bad news is we still have to wait for that. We do stay dry overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Scattered cloud cover will really be all we deal with throughout the overnight hours. Your snapshot forecast, Camille ba Ballard sending in the beautiful backdrop this evening. Temperatures falling off from the upper 80s down to the upper 70s between now and midnight. Notice the southerly winds sticking around and the partly cloudy conditions sticking around as well. Beautiful show overnight tonight. If you want to stay up just a tad bit later than normal, the Perseid meteor shower peaking overnight tonight up to around 200 meteors per hour between midnight and 6. Conditions won't be perfect, but we will be seeing those partly cloudy to mostly clear skies overnight. So actually not so bad, especially with temperatures by early tomorrow morning falling as low as about 74 degrees, still about 10 degrees warmer than average for this time of the year. Now for tomorrow, we have that low still swinging to our northeast. The rainfall moving ahead of it, not necessarily reaching us. We'll see scattered shower and thunderstorm activity possibly during the early afternoon hours. Once we get towards the evening, that line reaches our northwestern counties just around 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern time. This is just the beginning of the rainfall. We'll see continuous rain chances between Friday evening, Saturday, and then by early Sunday morning, things finally drying out. During that time period, not only will we see the cooler conditions, but por portions of the viewing area could see as much as an inch and a half, possibly two inches of rainfall when it's all said and done. Uh, by Monday, more rain chances move in as that stalling low pressure system and frontal boundary sticks off to our south. Maybe a few scattered rain showers on Monday, possibly scattered th thunderstorms on Tuesday. Temperatures also much cooler by that time. Boy, so hot today. I can't imagine being in football pads.